Well, Jade, what'd we buy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't prepped for this, so I have no clue. <laughs> Did you buy something? Next door? Oh! <laughs> I didn't remember what this was about. <laughs> uh, do you, you want me to say what you bought? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got the land next door. Yep. Yeah. Why did we buy it? <laughs> little, little Joey Dutton, like John Dutton. Uh, for yeah. <laughs> Why do we buy We it? had to buy it. Why did we buy it? We had to buy it. Yeah. Well, for you to build a pole building or something someday. But because people are going to build there. Well, they are. Yeah. But you want to do that too. Whoa, too yeah. close. Too close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the land right there next to that house, um, it was up for sale for how long, do you think? Oh, a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And we finally, I think so. A few years maybe. I don't we know. finally saved saved up enough pennies to buy it. Yep, our penny jar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um, it was funny because when we purchased it, the guy that was selling it actually said that another person wanted to build a house there, a spec home. Like the day we bought it. Yeah, like the day we bought it. So luckily we bought it, so nobody else can build their house there. And now we can take Vinny for rides on the land over here. He'll be loving it over there. So we're gonna go check it out. We'll walk the property line, show you guys the new land over there. It's 0.8 acres. And um, yeah, <laughs> we paid a lot for it. Well, yeah. But Jade, Jade likes it, right? Have yep. you been over there yet? Nope. <laughs> but it's nice that no one can build so, you know, you don't have so Yeah, you don't have a, a view of um, a house right there, no. It's more of a, just a prairie you're looking at. And they were going to build it, I think, come in the spring, so good thing we we bought it when we did. It was like, it was yeah, Jade, Jade pushed for it. I didn't <laughs> want to. I'm like, I'm not spending that much on 0. 0.8 acres, but she's like, Someone's gonna build there, and sure enough, no. yep. Joe never trust me. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, somebody was gonna going to build there. So yeah, want to see George? Yeah, let's go Who see George. It? You guys probably haven't seen George in a while. You guys probably haven't seen the house in a while. Oh, yeah, little George. Oh. The baby George. <laughs> Good baby. He's camera shy. What do you think, George? Little Georgie. Oh, little Georgie. He's, He's so boy. cute. He is mm. such a cute dog. Can you do any tricks, George? He's Can you do up. any tricks, George? <laughs> He's just a baby. He's Vinny's big brother, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Georgie's older. Georgie's older than Vin. <laughs> Vinny and George love each other. So this is the new land. Let's go walk the uh, border here. Bunch of pine trees. The plan is going to be to move these pine trees along the edge here, make like a fence in the spring. A little privacy. Benny, what do you think? But uh back here. I think the stake is back here somewhere. Yeah, the stake is right there. So from that stake to way up there, along the ridge over there, and then all the way over to here. So, gives us that extra acreage. And these trees are in here and what 
I want to do is build a garage somewhere like right in here so that I can pull the trailer straight in and have a door in the back going out to the subdivision behind us. That's kind of the plan. But we'll walk this. Where did Vinny go? Vinny, come on! And on the other stake, as you can see, it's right up here. Right there, and right there. And then we own the land behind it as well. You guys have seen me drive back there. It goes to a subdivision. Vinny, what do you think, buddy? Come here, come here. You like the new land, Vin? You like it, buddy? <laughs> but here's the other stake. And then the other stake is right there. So it's a pretty skinny lot. So I'm surprised somebody was gonna build on it. But they were going to. We have a nice little hill right here. We're gonna take that thing and try to jump this. See if we can get some air with it. Alright, it's running pretty good except it's making a popping backfiring sound out of the carburetor. So we gotta try to figure that out. But uh, I went down here and we almost nosedived right off of this cliff. <laughs> this thing can pretty much go through anything though. This snow is super packy, super wet, and it's hauling right through it like no problem. So this thing's super fun, but it's now backfiring out of the carb. It's not doing it in reverse, only in forward. It's just really weird. I went ahead and took apart the points again. Points look good. Spark looks good. Um, I think it's a carburetor again. I think what's happening is it's uh, getting too much fuel to the carb. So I'm wondering if that needle's stuck in there. It seems like it's puffing out a lot of fuel in the carb. I'm guessing that's probably what it is. All right, we've got a couple things I'm gonna finish up today in the garage and out at the land. So let's begin by getting a battery for the Suzuki Quad Runner. We finished that up last video, but the battery was junk, so let's get this thing out and get a brand new battery for it, replace that. Oh man, the truck's got 180,000 miles on it. That is getting up there. I just bought this thing. Looks like we're gonna have to get a new truck soon. <laughs> But uh, Toyota, Toyotas are supposed to run forever. So we should be fine. We got the battery down there. Let's go get that changed out. All right, made it to O'Reilly's. We got the brand new battery here. Super start, 102 bucks. Let's see the receipt here. $102, 32 cents. That was with five bucks off and the core charge. See if she lights up. Oh, yeah. All right, that 
project's fixed. On to the next one. All right, let's go check out the snowmobiles we have. Um, basically a snowmobile graveyard. Vinny's out here checking stuff out. Sorry for the wind, by the way. So here are the snowmobiles we've got. This thing's still running great. The uh, Articat Panther. No issues with this thing at all. We took that ice fishing the other day. That was good. This one is completely locked up. And then this one over here, the Skedaddler, it needs uh, it needs new drive gears. They're all eaten off of it. Otherwise, that one would run too. And then um, you guys know about the Raider. This one right here. This one's got some issues. What are we doing up here? Some guy's revving his engine over here. Well, guy was just doing burnouts back here. What he was doing that for. You can hear him going. So yeah, my wife isn't super pleased with the, uh, the look of the yard right here, so. We're gonna try to get rid of this one today. Post her up for free. So let's just see if it will turn over without the spark plugs in it. It looks like it's pretty frozen up. But uh, it's got the nice wall bro carb on it yet. It looks pretty complete though. Got a nice belt on there. The whole exhaust system looks good. Here, anything in here? Doesn't look like anything's in there. Yeah, throttle still works. It's got the headlight yet. I hope we can get this thing to free up here. Yeah, the plugs are pretty rusty. Rusted those pistons in place. A little WD-40 down here. This stuff is now eight bucks for a can of WD-40, the regular size can. Just crazy. They used to be like $4. Or $3. It's crazy that it's that expensive now. Try to twist this thing over. Oh no. Yeah, she's she's locked up pretty solid. That's not coming undone, so I think we're gonna list this thing up for free. Get rid of it. All right, we got the pictures. Let's post this thing on Facebook for free. And we'll see how long it takes for someone to get here. All right, we're gonna do a little experiment here. So right now it is 1241. It just posted 1975 Articat Panther 440. I believe it's a 75, somewhere in that time period. And I said free. So I said first one to come get it, gets it for free. And uh, we'll see how long it takes for somebody to come grab it or message me. Um, so I'm guessing it's probably gonna take 10 minutes. All right, over in this corner of the garage, you guys have probably seen it in past videos. This is the TRX 700. So a lot of people were messaging me saying, you know, when are you gonna complete this thing? So I actually paid a guy for the parts, close to $1,000 for a brand new top end, brand new head, piston, everything's brand new um, with the gas kit and everything. And it's actually a big bore kit. And uh, the guy never sent the parts. It's been over two months now, and uh, he still has not sent them out. So I guess he's been dealing with stuff in his life, and uh, 
he just has not sent them. I've messaged him multiple times. Um, supposedly he sent it one time, it got sent back. So he's just taking forever. That's why this project is not done. Otherwise it would have been done. And I'm not double paying for it. I'm not gonna you know, go spend another thousand dollars on parts when I'm waiting for the parts to already come because I'll be stuck with those parts then. So that's kind of why this thing's sitting here, not getting done. All right, so um, Brian texts me at 12.59, you can see right here. And uh, he said, is it available? And I said, yes, but he wanted to come Saturday. So I'm, I said, no holds. So that was about 18 minutes and I keep on having messages coming through. I think I have about 50 messages on this. So you can see all the messages here. All right, it snowed a ton last night. We got a big uh, storm here. So we're gonna go plow the driveway. We have a couple people coming for that snowmobile today, so hopefully one of them takes it. We got about 5,000 messages on that thing. Look how much snow this is. <laughs> Probably like a foot or more. Jeez. Let's see if we can get the old girl out. right up. There we go. most snow we've gotten all year in one night at least um i don't want it to get heavy either so we're gonna quick try to plow this and get her done before it gets melty then the stuff's gonna get really heavy so right now it's super light and fluffy and easy to plow but once that hits once the warm weather hits, it's kind of over from there. I've got a couple guys coming. One's in uh, 30 minutes and one's in, I think, 45 minutes for the snowmobile. So, 
I have to let the other guy know if it sells or not, or if it, not sell, but if they take it or not. Look at all that snow. That's crazy. Thought we were done with snow. Apparently not. <laughs> I think I need a bigger plow for this thing. Like a V plow. We got rid of the snowmobile. There she goes. That was tough getting onto the, uh, the bed of a truck. We had to use ramps and a ATV to push it up. But she finally went, so. Hopefully the guy was happy to get it for free. All right, driveway's all plowed. It's melting pretty good now. It took me like two hours though today. I had to shovel off all the trailers. But uh, we can see, so to get this snowmobile out, I had to pull it out with the four wheeler here. We went along there and we pushed it onto that guy's uh, truck. Now I gotta get rid of this one, probably this one. So, we'll see if we can do that. Alright, we got back from the dump and Vinny was itching to get the YFZ done. We had this thing sitting in parts. I was just waiting on the head to be trimmed up a bit. And the head finally came in, so... I want to give a shout out to... The guy that did the head. Did a really good job. His name is Herman's Motor Clinic. In Baraboo, Wisconsin. So I actually sent him the head, and then like within a day, I think he had it done, and he actually shipped it back to me. And the total cost was $45, which was, I think, including shipping. So, I mean, that was really cheap. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this place. If you guys have your heads to do, um, if they have imperfections or need a little bit of work, send them here. I mean, he did a really good job. And then um, I think they do side covers and cylinders and they, they uh, pretty much do everything. So if you guys have any parts to send them, send them his way and uh, he'll take care of you. Um, so we, we got the head back in and then we did the valves. Um, I took out all the valves, cleaned them, new valve seals and then lapped them all in. So all the valves are perfect and then we shimmed them all again and uh, everything is perfect on this thing. Then we did an oil change and uh, new battery. What else did we do to it? Um, coolant change and uh, oh yeah, the carburetor we had to go through 
and uh, the accelerator pump wasn't working. So we got the accelerator pump working and then I changed the jets because of the pipe. It's got a Moyer Works pipe on it. So we put, instead of a 165 that was in it, we put a 175 for the main. And then the Pilot, a 52. There was a 52 in it and it seemed to idle pretty good with it. So, this thing is ready to rock and roll. We also took it for a test drive and did the braking ride because uh, I had the brand new Pro X piston in there along with the new gaskets. So, all new, brand new top end on it and uh, all the belts were gone through. So, thing is really, really nice. Let's see if she fires up here. She's a little cold today. And I can hear like a little ticking going on in the engine. I'm, I'm sure you guys can hear that too. But um, all the valves are perfect. Timing chain is perfectly tight. Tensioner is perfect, so I'm not really sure where that would be coming from. Piston was perfect, so I think it might just be maybe the clutch area. Because it's not the top end. I checked it like three times. Watch out, Benny. Whoa, Benny. <laughs> oh, this is some deep snow over here. Sketchy between those two pine trees right there. It's running good. It does have that little tick to it though. I don't know what that is. It almost sounds like it's coming from the clutch area. I don't know if it's a pipe or what. So I did a little research and it turns out that the Moto Works silencer right here, a lot of people can hear like a, like a ticking noise with them for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but um, I think that's the problem we have with ours. Because valves are in spec, timing chain's perfect, so I think it's that pipe that is just a little bit louder than, than the, uh, the stock pipe. 
Look at all the turkey. Made it out to the land. We're going way to the corner down here. That's where the snowmobile is. We gotta drag that all the way back here. Or try to get it running. We've got the four-wheeler here. So we can try to drag it back if it doesn't run. But uh, yeah, fresh layer of powder over everything here. Oh boy, this thing is like <laughs> completely snowed in. There's like two feet of snow covering this thing. Jeez. This thing ran good last time we, we had it going. So maybe we can get it fired up today. We'll have to see. See what happens here. Well, she runs. Just have to get it out of the snowbank here. All right, the snowmobile doesn't want to run consistently, so we're gonna try to pull it out of here. We're gonna winch our way out of here. Well, this is looking like a failed mission. We got the four-wheeler stuck there, and we only made it this far. It's like a really slow walk back here because look how deep this snow is, and it's packy, and the wheels just spin. So I think this is a failed mission. We're gonna try one more time to get the sled going. Otherwise, it's getting dark, and I'm gonna give up here. All right, she just doesn't want to go. I think uh, water got in the gas. The gas tank right here. 
and uh, it's just not pumping through the system. So I think we're gonna end the video there on a failure, but uh, we'll wait for some of the snow to melt and we'll come back out here and try it again. It's just I wanna get some of these snowmobiles cleared out of here before uh, winter ends here. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the weird video today. It was kind of all over the place. Basically getting all the, the stuff I need to get done before uh, spring starts. And uh, yeah, just wrapping up a couple projects that I had along the way. So hopefully we can get that garage built here soon. I'm thinking in the summer we can lay down the foundation and get, get going on that. Um, because I definitely need the room for uh, all the vehicles I have. It's just getting out of control. So we will see. And then we've got the hovercraft and the skid steer just sitting there. The skid steer needs a new tire and the hovercraft needs a starter, which I just ordered. So it should be here next week. We can get the hovercraft up and running again, get that thing out of here. It's just been compiling snow, so that's not good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one. And until next time.